new job, which is first of all this, and also customs asked us to do this little little gem. Right, it's um, Wednesday the 5th of July and we're currently at Furwoods where Alex is inside now, we're getting a 1500 angle iron and we've got a 1500 concrete lintel this is for tomorrow's job uh, which is um, breaking up a door but making it wider into a window make, putting wider lintels in so we're going to do uh, the two separate system instead of trying to get a 50mm cavity lintel which is hard to get hold of Plus we can do one skin at a time then as well, which is a bit easier. Um, been for a spa for our lunch. Next is off to wig into the brick store to sort some bricks out for our next job. And to pick up 20 bricks for this job. Which is, um, they're going to be the Ibstock Tradesman buffs, I think, the yellow ones. And we've got some red sand face we need to get from the brick store, hopefully from the brick store. It's just getting the right ones. So, um... Alex should be on his way back any second. There he is. With the angle line there. So, um, yeah. I'll go and pay for it. And then we'll get going. So there we go, that is the concrete and the angle iron it brought over. Now it is just a case of getting to Wigan now and getting our bricks. Uh, little minor unrelated update, my hips started now. Every time I uh, walk now I get a horrible pain right in the joint so that's fun. Uh, but yeah, so Dad's just paying for the lintels now. We're gonna dart off to Wigan. Freaking tempted to. He spent he spent half an hour chatting to the Robbies like a buddy, like a pair of old ladies they were. Here he comes. So we probably would have been home by now. Hello. I was complaining about you talking for ages with the Robbies. Can I catch up? So yeah, off to Wigan. Hello, we're at the brick store. We've arrived. It wasn't bad, not a bad run that was it. Dad's done all his business side, got the with the invoice and everything. Yeah, we've got, we've got a pretty good match, I reckon. We've got them for a darker match, like a more purpley colour. Um, the ones in berries are too orange, so here we are. Best place in Wigan for bricks and surrounding area. Good all them. Goes on for miles as well. So he's just gone to get our order, which is 180 swollen purple something and 20. Ipstock, Tradesman, Golden Buff. Yeah, so pretty soon it'll be over with the pallet to go in here. So let me move all this crap out of the way and we'll get these bricks loaded. Oh, it's Right, good. Thursday morning. <laughs> They're just saying good, good. <laughs> Thursday the 6th of July. <clears throat> Should have checked my watch, he's still on about watches, you know. Is it the 6th already? Yeah. So it was only independence day yesterday. Mm. Right, so here we are. New job. Right, we'll say that again. Thursday the 6th of July. <clears throat> New job, which is, first of all, this. 
as you can see that's our opening that's our steel so we're going to here we're going to leave a nib on here because there's a pad stone there so we don't want to start getting involved with that pad stone and then we've got we'll leave a 100 mil nib here as small as possible we can put the steel into this pillar a bit but if we put it any further over we can't stitch drill it so we're just giving that a bit of room customer said they'd like it without nibs but they weren't too bothered if there was going to be nibs anyway so it's still a good opening that so what's 2100 in meters that's about 2.1 seven meters. foot in feet and inches sorry yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that's to be done but i need to go to jm and get the steel ordered first hopefully that'll be a quick turn around that because it, it's only a seven six b three and we don't need it painting and there's nothing else it's just a straightforward steel so it doesn't need fabricate just needs cutting basically and it can go in the back of the van and then we've got this which is doors coming out bricked up to um to allow for a 1040 deep window but it's not that straightforward they want a wider window so it's going to be a <clears throat> standard size 1040 by 1200 so it's like an off-the-shelf size window you won't have to get that fabricated you can buy that from Selco or wherever so um, this is our height and that's our width so we're just going to run the saw down that put a nice straight cut in that take that out open this up put an angle iron in a cavity tray etc and then inside we're going to put a 6x4 concrete lintel and then put the cavity tray onto that the reason we're not using a cavity lintel is because they're hard to get hold of such a small cavity now and it's, it's easier to do two separate lintels to actually prop up and everything is that you've, you've got less of a hole so um, <clears throat> so there's a two thing to do I've checked the uh, saws all it goes through the mortar which is good which means we can take the door out and also customs asked us to do this little little gem so that'll be all getting toothed out take this out to this all out Alex's little um, pet peeve that pet peeve I yeah. hate it hates that so even if we don't get asked to do that he'd have done that anyway so I um, forgot to ask about the air vent but we'll leave it in um, obviously that one's staying in because because we're not touching up there that's all that's going to be straight so basically it's just about half a dozen two there's there half a dozen two there's there and then a straight cut down there could you be said that i was going to go all the way up yeah no that's we're just that's getting cut out with the saw because you've got um nice pieces there so you're not gonna have any mortar showing so that pencil yeah use the bolster to mark it on the wall so there's a few things I've got to do. I need to go and pick up the steel. I've got to pick up a bit of timber because there's no window for this yet. So um, we're going to build a, a, timber, a dummy timber frame and fix it into position and build it in. And we need a bit more sand. And I think that's it now. I think so. Yeah, that's it to there. Hmm? That's it to there. That's the height. Oh, is that, that's all that's been cut out? Yeah. Yeah. So it's what to do first. Um, <coughs> I think we we'll get the van on drive, get the trestles out, and maybe open this up. Yeah. I can get open this up while you're doing the inside. There's okay. no point taking the door out yet. We'll maybe do the lintel first, and then we'll see how we get on after that. Okay. So I don't need to go anywhere for a bit now. So let's get cracking. the van unloaded at the front of the house now we need to get it all around the back <laughs> it's, we're only going there the other side of that shed but because there's, there's a shed there so we have to go all around but uh, never mind so there's the concrete lintel there's the angle iron lintel down there there's our cavity tray um, well, Alex must have took that already Roll of 18 inch damp, there's our silicon and stuff. 
the vents have gone in, a, in their box. This is the timber for making up the uh, frame, the temporary frame we're going to build in and fix. Motor stand, last of the bricks, pad stones underneath the concrete lintel, two acros, two strong boys, and a partridge in a pear tree. It's a bit cramped around the back, so we're going to mix the front and then bucket it round. So, yeah, once we've got everything round and set up, we're going to have a break. So, yeah, somebody said about we always seem to be having lots of breaks, but we always do an update before or after break just before we start or just before we finish it just uh, we do only have two breaks a day <laughs> so yeah let's get cracking Two bricks ready to go. Let's turn the celery down. Just a quick, quick one. Extension. Obviously newer bricks, slightly smaller. They look very small then. They're probably about 60mm. But you tend to get that with London bricks. They're all shapes and sizes. Absolutely crap. So they've ended up with big beds. But obviously they're just working to what's here. Which is average beds. But what I'm looking at is where they've choosed out. All the way up from the bottom, blah blah blah, two, 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 two. Got to the six from the top and got fed up, so I did leave them six halves in. So, um, if you're going to two it out, two it out, if you're not, you're not. I don't like to get fed up two thirds of the way up. So, um, <laughs> we're going to two all ours out. So, um, let's ca carry on with the stuff. I'll go, um, go start on the planks now. That motor's solid, that doesn't need propping. Plus it's on tie wire course as well, so that's helping. These bricks, are, to prove they're that bad, I've took all that joint right out, used the uh, recipo to it as gently as possible, but I still have three just snap in the wall. So we're three down already. And then we've got this um, chocolate teapot cavity tray, which is six inches short of the um, angle iron. I know we used to put these in like this back in the day, but at least used to run past the end of the uh, angle iron, so it's protected. I mean, the angle iron's in good condition, considering. There must be shelters around here, but uh, yeah, make your damp cross long enough at least. So there, there's the cut down for the new window, and there's the seating for the new lintel. So I'm currently cleaning bricks up, which isn't fun. And Alex is inside, getting ready for the lintel on the inside. The plaster's suddenly gone very hard. Yeah. It was chipped. Might do, yeah, because it was chipping off nice and easy now. It's, it's probably different, it's been patched or something. Yeah. So, yeah, um, I'm not propping in here. We can prop in there instead. We might just put a couple of bricks in for, for tempering. But, um, yeah, all the dust is done for now. It's just a matter of cleaning the bricks up, get this thing out, 
and get the other one in. But I think we'll we'll insert the inside one first, and then we can we can set because all this is going to come out. All this is loose. This is below the joist level, so that's going to be above our lintel. So that'll be new bricks or blocks above. Um, so yeah. I'm going to finish cleaning the bricks, jump in with Alex and we'll get this concrete lintel in first and jump on this this afternoon. So I'll give it to Alex for now. Exactly where the concrete lintel should be going. And then I've measured 1200 from from the bare block to get my pencil mark here. So that's where all that's coming out to make room for the new window space. And this part now, is, it's getting way too tough to knock out. So I just thought, sod it, I'm going to get I'm gonna get my drill bit and stitch drill it now because I don't need to be messing around getting the plaster off now that he's done with the drill so yeah that's about it so far I'm gonna get drilling with that and then I think dad said he wants to get the concrete in first so we can set the cavity tray up that way it's like well and truly in then set on the blocks um, since we don't need to prop that we can prop these up with just bit of timber in the acros. Hello. I'm just giving them a rundown. Yeah. Um, are we going as far over as that one? Uh, th that's 1500 from from the end there. Right, so we don't need to prop that joist then. No. I want to set the bathroom leak on it. Probably wet on the joist. Yeah. It's nasty. Anyway, should we do this?
No, it's not in the air. Uh... Oh, God, can I put it back in this way? I'll get, I'll get the other side. Right. There we go. Ooh. All done. Got screws everywhere trying to hold this beam filling up. We don't want that to fall. A couple of bits have fell out, but we can handle that because we can get at it. It's when it goes up above the floorboards that you're screwed. So, um, I might put another one in this one. Then we've got this piece of block to take out for our lintel to go across. This is obviously coming out where else has stitch drilled it. Uh, we'll take that out today. We'll leave the brickwork in for today. Um, yeah, the, that's got to come out. That little bit of brick there. So we can get the seat and go further back for our 150. Outside's done, you can see. It's not propped, but it's not going anywhere either. All the bricks are cleaned. We've got a few spares. So it's going to have a quick dinner. There's the angle line by the way. Little tiny thing. Good, con good condition though. Must be a, must be a, a sheltered side of the house. Um, yeah. It's a pity we haven't got the one lintel to go in now. Because mm. both skins are out anyway. <laughs> so what we'll do is we're going to knock the rest of that out after dinner. Well I will while it's getting a mix in. And then we'll get the concrete lintel in first then let it go off and then we can pack the joist tomorrow with timber and a bit of slate so we'll leave it propped up tonight and hopefully we'll get the angle in this afternoon too but first thing is the the concrete lintel that's the main thing to get that in and then cabbage tray goes up to that then so yeah um let's get everything on charge and go and have a quick dinner after lunch um update so got the rest of the block out ready for our seating Chopped out where Alex done the stitch drilling, it's coming out nicely that. So I think it's got um probably chopped this one off down. Might just chop the top off it. And that's our height then. And then the rest is breaking up. So once we've done that, oh hello. Hi. Alex has just got a mix on. So just speed. Once he's uh it's, it's I think it's around that way, mate. So once he's brought the mix round, we'll get this concrete lintel in, get it in position, uh, Alex can pack up on top of it, and then we'll actually pack the joists up tomorrow with a um, piece slate? of timber or slate, slate yeah so yeah it's, that's the demolition pretty much done in here now just got one little bit to do there and then um, we'll get this lintel on, on, up on top we'll close the door get the lintel on and then like I say I'll jump, jump outside and I'll just concentrate on the inside job's a good one yeah I'm gonna put that stuff in the bucket to take it that way just go around that way with it I'll take it around that way. Okay. I'll just all sweep it up then. Yep, so sweep it up, lintel in, you can you can watch us do this. Um This is one for the bloopers.
push this. Bring the ring. Yep. I don't know what level it is. Do you have a four foot level in? Uh, no, I'll go first. Just try and hit me. Don't bother. Any, any level will do because we'll just have to level it as we do it. There's two foot still in here. There's two foot right outside. Oh, well, I need to go outside anyway. Yeah. Did you film him? Yeah. Yeah, I was filming. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Oh, that's a gap, isn't it? So it shouldn't. What's it say? Good. Yeah? Yeah. Is it meant to be a splodge on the... No, that's... that's ah, yeah. Nice. Right, do you want to um, so the camera and put it up there? Can do. Do you want to right. step on there a sec? Yeah, what are you going to do? Shift that forward. Okay, I'm going to go first. And I'll move. Yeah, just so you've got on camera, so Alex does nothing. There's 15 rooms of concrete link, he's taking that on his own, so I can't lift it. Put so they're not first, mate. Stick this by a bit. No, not there, on the cap. That's the way to that's it. I can stick on the way. Can we get the camera? Yeah, one sec. We just step. We need to move this. We need to stop it as well. I'm going to push it, get it round first. I'm going to need to get it to you for a bit. For you, tight. <coughs> to me. That just wants to come out a little bit. Let's flush. Okay. Level. Maybe cut pieces of block for in there. Yeah. Do it tomorrow. So we've got no block, have we? Well, then. What, the length or the uh, bricks? Yeah, the, uh, I should go under there. It's saying it wants to go up at, my, at your end. Uh, have we got anything to pack it with? Um. Yeah, let's get ready to... Doesn't help with all these bloody nibs of throwing it off. No. The little best to stay on top. Shh, can't say that. Yeah. Does that say? Yeah. Show you what to do. 
fingertips. Right. Same as the tad bit high on my end. Oh, well, actually, no. Not too bad. It'll do for that. What it's doing. Yeah. There we go. Concrete lintel in. Um, now, could you get these out? Because they're in the way now for packing up. I think we'll get a course of brick in there. Because we've got a. We've got some brick that we took out, we can reuse them. Because um, I'm going to need to stick my cabbage tray against something. So, I might nail the cavity tray to this. That should work nice, that. Yeah, we'll do that. No, we can't, because that's in the way. No, forget that. We'll work, it. We'll work around it. So, uh, anyway, back to time lapse. I don't know if you can see from this side, but that looks pretty packed up to me. That's Dad. The concrete lintel's completely done now, so nice job, Dad. Now he's going to get started with this lintel. It's about like... A few uh, casualties, but nothing we couldn't handle. No. Nothing well, like the last one. Yeah. Well, what... She's just being edited at the moment. That's what you expect with these bricks. But yeah, while Dad gets that done, I'm going to get inside there sorted out and just keep him keep him going because hopefully it's 20 past 3 now, so hopefully we can get most of this done before ridiculous o'clock. So I'll give this a little charge now and then when he's ready, we'll get you one over here. I've not been recording, it's been charging, so that's where we are up to now. Tray in, this is going to get cut off after. That little tip I picked up from Izzy. Tray's up, nailed in and sealed in at the back. Lintel's in. Blah blah blah. Uh, propped up. So I'm just gonna get these in and go home. But it is just gone four o'clock. Not doing too bad. No. So um there's my vent, there's my upstand. So two, two, and then it's it's gonna be odd. But um that can't be helped. It's gonna be two here. One, two, one, two. Yeah, it's gonna be two there. That's just the way it works, but anyway. So yeah, Alex is getting a good tide up done in there. And then tomorrow we're going to be on with bricking this up. Uh, taking this bit down and picking the steel up in the morning for that. So we'll have a good solid day tomorrow. Oh, we're picking it up, it's not being dropped off. No, pick it up. That was the idea, we get it here quick. Right. It's not even been painted because it's an internal wall. Yeah. So, Alex will find somewhere to put you on time lapse. It's probably that stick. Well, I'll do it. Well, I've got to. Uh, yeah, it's a bit, a bit tight now.
five o'clock and we're done until one is in until two is in as you saw before Hmm? Two. Yeah, said that. One. So they're done, he's not done a bad job. Not bad. So, task tomorrow will obviously be get this cleaned up, and then I'm gonna get that sorted. Then we'll get the rest of that dropped. Window template will be built, and we'll get ourselves all set up for tomorrow. So, see you there.